All dry shampoos, some that are sprayed, aerosolized, can be contaminated with benzene. This is a good reminder to be careful about who you listen to online and think about what their qualifications actually are. If they aren't that relevant to the topic, so none of this is dermatology, then that is mostly just a distraction. So think instead about other reasons to believe them. If they're showing you data, if they have a good track record of posting reliable information, if what they say makes sense, if it's in line with what other more relevant experts are saying. Don't let the qualification distract you from critical thinking. My PhD is in medicinal chemistry. This is chemistry slash toxicology. I am much better placed to understand this than a dermatologist. And I would say I have one of the best track records for reliable information on beauty products, but I am also going to give you data and reasons. Yes, you shouldn't use sprays in a poorly ventilated area, but benzene is way down the list of things to worry about. Anytime you see a scary benzene post so far and probably into the future, the information probably originally comes from a testing lab called Valishore. They really tend to exaggerate how scary their results are, and they don't seem to be that good at measuring things. They're where all these jokes about putting products in ovens comes from. One time they accidentally burnt their samples to get the results they did, so if your product is meant to be white but looks like this, maybe don't use it. But even if we believe their numbers, the amount of benzene is still really low. You would breathe about 60 micrograms of benzene a day if you live in a city, that's because benzene is in petrol. That's way less than what's in a whole can of a product that Valishore still made sound really scary. You don't use the whole can in a day, and you don't inhale everything that comes out of the can, unless you are really worried about protecting your lungs from sunburn, I guess. Yes, there were recalls, but in the US, recalls almost always happen well before there's any actual danger. There was another study that found that people who use more sunscreen actually had less benzene in their blood. And this is a good sign that benzene just isn't really something to worry about. Lotions and creams aren't free from benzene according to Valishore either, but also Valishore probably haven't told us all their results because in their court case, it's come out that they've offered to brands that they can keep quiet if brands pay them lots of money. Again, it's really handy to look at track record. In this case, not good. 